second grade. We are here to learn about measuring today. And I think you're going to love this lesson because we're going to use a whole gallon of water. Think about this. What are some other things you've seen in your life that come in a gallon? Mm, right. I was thinking the same thing. Right. So what we're going to find out today is how many quarts and pints and cups are in one gallon. And to do that, we're actually gonna do a demonstration where we're pouring water into these different things. So first, make a prediction. How many quarts do you think it would take to use up all of this water that's in this gallon? All right, you got your prediction? Let's find out. A gallon weighs eight pounds. So at first, it's a little bit heavy. And so I'm pouring my water into this quart. And there's one. It's full. And that is how much is left in my gallon. You see the water line? And now I'm going to just dump this one out. So one. One quart to start with. And as you can see back here, I have a paper with a big G on it. And that stands for gallon. And so I know I've got one quart. So I'm going to do a really big Q right here, a capital Q. That's going to help me keep track. And you can do that too. You have a paper that you got in the envelope that I sent you that you got on Friday or Saturday. And on that paper, you should draw a giant G to stand for gallon. And inside that G so far, you're going to have one Q for quart. And here's another quart. It's full. And we dump it out. And another one. So did you guess two quarts were in a gallon? Was that your prediction or did you guess more? And the gallon still has some in it. See? Are you changing your prediction as we go along? So that's three quarts. Let me go back and add two more cues to this. And then you can do that too. And remember, like always, you can stop the video so you can catch up. I think you might be predicting now how many quarts are in a gallon. And now this one I'm not going to dump out. Because now we're going to change from quarts. And there, the very last of it, my gallon is empty. How many quarts? One that we dumped out, two that we dumped out, three that we dumped out, and this is our fourth. There are four quarts in a gallon. And now we're going to see how many pints are in a quart. Do you have a prediction? I bet you do, and I bet your prediction is right. So. Here we go, using my quart to pour into my pint. There's one pint that's full, but there's still some in that one. So I'll dump that one out, and now I will. And every quart, there's at least one pint. And one thing that I'm going to do that's kind of funny is this. I'm going to make the, P, the big tummy part of the pea really big. So in each one of these quarts, there's at least one pint. Okay, let's try again. This pint is empty. My quart still has some in it. Pour again. You probably want to do this at home, don't you? Did you see me spill a little bit there? Yeah. And so now this quart is empty. And here's another pint. Now this pint is full. So how many pints did it take to use up all the water from that quart? Two pints. So every Q should have two peas in it. With a really big giant tummy. And as you can see, mine is not perfect. And that's okay. And now your next job is to guess, make a prediction, 
how many cups will it take to use up all the water in this pint? In this pint, how many cups are there? So here we go. One. See, it's pretty full. One. So now in each one of those pints, I have to put one C. Make sure you have space for more because we haven't used all of the water up yet. So a pint has more than one cup in it. When you drink your milk at school, you drink a half pint. Hmm, is that a hint? Maybe. And there we are. Oops. And now our pint is empty and there's a full cup of water. So how many cups were in a pint? Right, two cups in every pint. And I want you to make a poster like this. You have paper for it. I sent you a piece of construction paper. It might not be pink. It might be yellow or red or orange. It's in your envelope. So let's look at that closely. I will take that down. And I know you probably want to do this water activity. Just talk to your grown-ups about it. Okay? So, there it is. This is how your gallon poster is going to turn out. And so check this out. How many quarts are in a gallon? That's easy, four. How many pints are in a gallon? Two, four, six, eight. Eight pints in a gallon. How many cups are in a gallon? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 cups in a gallon. So if you were having a party and you were having 16 people over and you had a gallon of milk, each of them could get one cup. And you are also going to make a key like this to go with your poster. So everyone understands what this poster is all about because if you just look at it without doing our experiment with our water and our pints and cups and quarts and gallons, you wouldn't understand it. So I want you to make a poster and I want you to make a key just like this one. And again, stop the video and copy it down. All right, see how a gallon is four quarts and eight pints and 16 cups. And a quart is two pints or four cups. And a pint is two cups. And a cup is just a cup. Well, I hope you liked this lesson. And if you read in the directions, you also have some math, box page, math book pages to do. Um, have a great day. See you later. Bye.